Hey everyone, it's Janae and tonight's video we're going to go over a Hobby Lobby haul and we're going to do the draw for the 50 subscribers. Again, thank you so much for all your support. I greatly appreciate it and we will be right back. On this channel, we go over unboxings, full post reviews, tips and tricks, and recommendations just like this one. So let's head on over to that video. So the first thing I'm going to show you are two diamond dot paintings. I personally have never done a diamond dot painting yet. So when we went down to North Dakota for a couple of days, I went on Hobby Lobby's website and found out that their diamond dot paintings were 50% off. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. So we stopped at Hobby Lobby and I picked out two diamond paintings. One is the white horse and then the peacock. The white horse, it says intermediate up here. I'm not 100% sure what that means. And then this peacock says advance. When I asked the salesperson about the difference between the two, she wasn't really sure because she didn't know anything about diamond painting. I thought, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a chance even though it says intermediate on there. So let's open up the horse one first because I'm kind of curious about this. And again, like I said, I've never done a diamond dot painting. I don't know what to expect. It can't be much different than the other kits that we get. But this says, includes 16 dazzling gems, color, fabric, wax, grip, tray, and instructions. This is a 30 by 30, perfect for framing. And then it shows you steps here gives you the color codes for which level painter you may be and it, it just shows you here what to expect in your kit I guess these are just different kits that you can get some of you may have done diamond dots before I I have seen diamond dots advertised on Amazon and a couple of different places but I never have purchased one and I've heard some really good things about diamond dots. So let's take a look at the canvas first. And okay, so this is actually a partial. So I wonder if that's what they mean by inter intermediate. Let's roll this out. And it comes with nice comes with instructions. I really find that it's really nice that a company will provide this because some companies don't and if you're new to diamond painting it could be very overwhelming when you don't know or don't have instructions and have absolutely no idea where to start. So I find that when companies give out instructions I think that's a great selling point. So let's roll this backwards. Canvas is really nice. It's bevel edged all the way around. And the nice thing about it, and I'm gonna take this off in just a second, but before I go into that, I'm just gonna let you know that um, I always look at the back of the canvas and there's always a reason why. Some of the stores that I have purchased from in the past, if they've have some major issues, you're gonna usually see it in the back. And that's why I always like to take a look back there first. Now, this canvas looks very nice in the back. There's no indications of rivers, bubbles, um, puckers, any of those phenomenons that you can find in other canvases. This one is actually nice. I like the, the canvas. I'm not quite sure what kind of fabric that is, but it feels almost like a polyester blend of some sort, but I could be wrong. It just, that's how it feels. So I'm gonna take this off really quick. And get over here. 
what I find also impressive, and this is the second store now that, that I've seen do this, and that is putting their canvas size and the fabric size on the canvas. That really makes it very helpful to have that there. So, oh, I put it down. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. So let's take a look at the drill field. And the drill field is very clear on this. And the key is also very clear. So we have 16 colors. So that's not bad for a partial drill. So let's see if I can get this on without any issues. There we go. Just put it on there as fast as you can. <laughs> there. This is called Della, Della I White Horse or Della One White Horse. One of the two. But that is going to look really nice when it's done. So let's take a look at the drills. Oops. Oh, really nice toolkit. So toolkit comes with a gray tray with a spout. It's got a scrunchie, your basic drill pin. I like this, the wax in its container, and it's got some Ziploc bags. Really, really nice. In fact, I want to take a look at that wax. <laughs> um, I've never had one of these, so this is really nice. Wow. Nice idea. Okay. The little things that just make me smile. That is great. I just love it. Okay, so let's take a look at the drill quickly. So we've got an off white. And it looks like no, they're not. Okay. Some tans. More of a brown color. It actually looks gray to me in this the screen uh, or the viewfinder, but it's actually a tan. And then this is more of a brown. And then this looks like um, 939. And then this is definitely 310. Sorry for the glare. I'm trying to get it not to do that. There we go. Then you have Yeah, I think these might they almost look like they're AB drills, but it's hard to tell. And then there's more browns. Kind of a gray color. A peach. And that is a light orange but it looks peach there too. I'm just looking at some of these. Some of these drills look like they may be AB, but it's really hard to tell. I would say probably not. It's, I don't know. They look it, but it's hard to tell. Okay, so I'm just going to put these off to the side. One thing I do like about their packaging 
is their bags don't sound don't have that really annoying crunching sound to it so I hope that's how it sounds in the video as well so again that's the white horse this is a 30 by 30 and the drill area is just the horse really pretty so we're going to put that off to the side and now we're going to open the peacock oh now this one is classified as advanced so let's grab so there's your drills canvas and the empty box empty 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 now really nice thing is before we open or do this one the horse painting originally is $14.95 I paid $7.50 for that one and this one retails for for $24.99 and I got this 50% off maybe around $12 not bad not bad especially when I've been on Amazon and they're selling them for like 30 40 bucks here in Canada we go to, down to the States about every three to four months to go shopping and do different things and because I mean oh my god the Texas Roadhouse. Oh, it's so good. So good. There's so many good restaurants. We live approximately three hours from Grand Forks, North Dakota, and we go out there a lot for shopping and, and all sorts of different things. But I told my husband, I said, we have to go to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Gotta go to Hobby Lobby. We have Michael's up here, but we don't have a Hobby Lobby up here. So... Actually, where we went this this trip was we were going to take our motorcycles down and ride the Badlands in North Dakota. Unfortunately, with the weather, we decided we weren't taking our bikes and we just drove down, which is a good thing because the weather wasn't going to cooperate. But we did drive through the Badlands, but we did stop at Hobby Lobby and Michael's and a few other places. And I went on Hobby Lobby's website and I found out that their diamond dots were on sale. And I thought, oh, yes. So I was really excited about that. Okay, so here is the Peacock. And this is a... 37 by 42 and that's the drill area and the whole fabric is 45 by 50. This is a full drill and it also came with the instructions. Really pretty. I can't wait to do this one. So again, I always, like I said, make a habit of taking a look at the back of the canvas regardless of the company that you're purchasing from. Just make that a habit because then you'll you'll do it every time. You'll start getting a feeling of which stores you may have issues with and which stores you won't. Now, because I've never purchased a diamond dot painting, that's why I want to take a look at the back. Although I have to say, I do really like their canvases. Another group that I... I still look at the back, but I don't have any concerns with them, and that is Diamond Art Club. Love their canvases. And also Star Wars, I would classify as fairly close to, to that as well. So I've never had an issue with Star Wars either. Very impressed with this um, painting. So let's take a look at the drill fills. I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna take that all the way off because I probably will not get it back on. <laughs> Knowing me, I will be fighting with it forever. So let's bring that up and you can see again where it says design size and fabric size. It gives you the dimensions of the drill field and the full canvas. One thing I do like about this as well is 
the canvas is beveled edged so that helps keep it from fraying and let's take a look at the drill field so there is your drill field and as you can see if my camera will just focus in there the symbols are very clear another thing i like about them is they have also the key on both sides of the painting which makes it very nice and let's see if I can get this down without issues. Ooh, almost by almost the first try. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. So, beautiful, beautiful. Let's look at the drills really quick. So again, really nice toolkit. Comes with a basic pen, scrunchie, a nice container with wax in it, a gray tray with a spout, and your Ziploc bags. And let's take a look at these gorgeous colors. Oh my, now this is definitely an AB drill. Look at this. That's definitely, definitely AB. Isn't that beautiful? We got nice green colors. Then you've got your blues. Really pretty. Sorry, my foot's just sleep. So then you've got, um, these are olive green colors, then your, your browns, sorry, I'm just going to have to go like that, browns, yellow, orange, uh, I'm not sure what you would call that, or that one, <laughs> brown, um, a gray, and a darker gray. Really pretty colors. And then you've got another kind of a lime green. That definitely is 310. And then a gray. Really pretty. I'm going to have to start on this, I think. <laughs> Again, so this is a 37 by 42, and that's the drill area. Beautiful, beautiful colors. I love the canvas. It's it's gorgeous, and I can't wait. Oh, and another thing I was going to say, too, if, you, if you've never done a diamond dot painting, the glue is poured glue. It is not that double-sided, or, yeah, double-sided adhesive. N excellent bonus on that as well so if you have not done one i highly recommend that you do one of these because this is nice this is a lot nicer than i expected this painting has 23 colors yeah i can't wait to get this one going okay so we're going to put this one off to the side and then i'm going to show you the other items i got from our trip as I said, my husband, <laughs> I think he thinks I'm nuts, but, you know, to each their own. So, um, there's a couple of things that I got from Hobby Lobby besides the paintings. So, I'm just going to bring them out. And that is, I got an assortment of washi tapes. So, I'm just going to bring them all out. And these were on sale as well. Okay, so I believe I paid maybe 75 cents for the smaller rolls, and these are the Scotch brand washi tapes. Really pretty colors. 
And again, they were on sale. I, I couldn't pass that up. Couldn't pass it. And I love this brand, the Scotch brand. And then I also got these bigger ones. And I believe I paid somewhere around $1.25. But again, they were on sale as well. They're originally around, I think, $2.75 or something like that. They were, about, they were 50% off. So I just grabbed what ones that were on sale and I thought, you know what? I've always had really good luck with the Scotch brand washi tapes. So I picked up some of those. I was getting a little low on my washi tape. So also in my, my husband, I, I told him, I said, listen, I got some clock paintings that I'd watched a video that someone was framing a clock and they used double-sided carpet tape to put the clock on a pre-stretched canvas or a pre-framed canvas. So I thought, oh, let's, that's a good idea. Let's get some double-sided carpet tape. Well, we couldn't find any carpet tape. So my husband decided to get me this, this double-sided duct tape. And it's good for mounting, repairing, and you know, and so on and so forth. So he says, you know what, try this, see if this works. So I thought, well, what the heck? This was also on sale too, which really, I was shocked. I think we paid a dollar for this. Then, what else do I have in here? I think that was it with, oh no, no. I got this too, oops. And I, I had heard some other YouTubers talk about using this in replacing wax. So I thought, well, you know what, it was only a dollar, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try it and see if it works. If not, I'm only out a dollar, not a big deal. It was on sale, again, this was $2.99, but I paid a dollar for it. The next place that we went to was Harbor Freight. And I had been hearing a lot of people talk about these storage containers. So I picked up a couple of them. And they're actually quite nice. It comes in a really nice container. And uh, I haven't really, I mean, I've opened them, took a look at them. I haven't really done much with them. So, but you know, they're quite small, but for a partial or a small painting or, you know, a special shape painting, these would be excellent. And they have nice lockable lids. So I thought, what the heck, I paid $4.50 for these. So I thought that was a good deal and I bought two of them. In fact, they were the last two they had. So <laughs> I wiped them out. I, another thing I was thinking about with these two would make excellent containers for storing your spares as well. So. $4.50 can't go wrong with these, not at all. In fact, I find these are a lot better than the Tic Tac containers. So next stop, we went to the dollar store. And I decided, first of all, can't have, can't have enough pens. Every time I look for a pen, I can't find one, so I thought, well, I'm buying some pens. Um, a couple of notebooks that I decided that I was going to get for keeping tabs on my diamond painting purchases and everything else. So I decided I was gonna get one book for rounds and one book for squares. Then I bought these. I decided to get a couple of, actually these were together. So I paid a dollar for both of these and I thought this would be a good bag to hold my spare drill pins, tweezers, you know, just basically a good travel bag for all of my stuff if I decide to take them with me on holidays. For a dollar, I thought you can't go wrong. Really nice. And then I also picked up two of these. Now I'm gonna show you why I picked these up. My go-to container system, sorry about the mess over here if you can see it. Oh good, you can't. <laughs> but this is my go-to container system. 
And one of the things about this system is that the containers, if, if, if you set it up like this and you accidentally knock it, these can actually easily slide out. And one thing about them, I'm not really overly concerned, as you can see, you can go like that. And they pretty much, they, they all slide out. Now this one here, let me see, this one here too. Just gonna show you. I like this system for a few, a few reasons. One, they're really deep. So you can put a lot of drills in this little box. The lids lock and you can pretty much do anything with them and those lids will stay on. In fact, I just had three of them before I started videoing. I had three of them fall off the table and onto the floor and not one of the lids popped off, which I was surprised because I'm like, oh, that's a long drop. But yeah, these, these um, containers are pretty durable and they hold a lot of drills. You can put 13 of the 500 count bags of drills in one of these containers, really nice. But as I said, they can easily fall out of, of the uh, container that you can't see right here. So they can easily fall out of these little boxes because there's nothing that actually is holding them, oops, holding them in. So I mean, if you tilt it, it's going to fall out other than this one here. And there's a reason why. I bought some of these Velcro dots and I put them on the back of the container box and then on the bottom here inside. So when I put it back in here, just oops, shove it back there and look at that. Not going to come out at all. I also put them on top here as well because the containers are actually stackable. So if you wanted to, um, here, I'll have to move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, so don't mind, don't mind, don't mind this. <laughs> I haven't cleaned that up yet. But you can actually stack these. Hopefully none of those will fall out. But you can see I've got um, the, the Velcro dots there. And you just put them on like that. And it's pretty wobbly, but it will hold. Now I'm just gonna pop that down. So, for a dollar and, I think, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, it fell on the ground. So I got two of these for a dollar, and it comes with, it looks like, four um, strips of these. So you get 20 pairs of the Velcro, Velcro dots, which will hold these boxes in place. Now, another thing about this storage container system that I like is you can actually mount these to the wall. There's um, an area here where you can just put a screw in there and mount them up to the wall, or you can actually um, mount them on a cabinet or anything that you want to mount them to. These actually can be mounted, so it's really nice. Again, if you're like me and you do lots of large paintings, these container systems are excellent. And if you're interested, I do have some for sale. These are called the 12 box organizer. And I had the opportunity to purchase these container systems in bulk. So if you're interested, bring these up. If you're interested in these, let me know. I'll 
have my email down below. Let me know and I can give you some more detail on them. And as I said, um, it's 12 boxes. They're fairly deep. So if you do lots of large paintings, they're excellent for that. They're excellent for just about anything diamond painting related. You can mount them. Um, you can, like I said, Velcro and put these together, although it'll be a little bit wobbly. I would highly recommend that you get the Velcro dots or you can also get the rubber dots and put them back there so that they don't slide out of main container easily. Other than that, I mean, it's a great system. I love it. And as I said, you can pretty much play catch with these and they're not going to, they're not going to um, bust open. So let me just bring you back down so you can see that. So as you can see, you can pretty much do just about anything with these containers and the lid stay shut. So there you have it. All of my wonderful goodies that I got on my holidays from Hobby Lobby and the Dollar Store, or Dollar Tree I should say. Um, again, we don't have a Hobby Lobby here in Canada. so. When we go down to the States, that's a, one of the first places I have to go to. And we don't have Dollar Tree up here. We have a place called Dollarama. And you know they have okay stuff, but I find the Dollar Tree has some really cool stuff. Okay, everyone, we are going to be doing that draw since I've hit my 50 subscribers. And again, thank you so much for supporting me and the review. I greatly appreciate it. So, let's go ahead and pick that winner. Here we go. And the winner is Donna Hoover. Congratulations, Donna. I will be reaching out to you shortly in regards to the free special sheet butterfly drill kit so I can get your shipping information. Again, congratulations to Donna. Thank you all so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. If you like the video, give it that thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you didn't like the video, it's okay. I completely understand. But if you can go down to the comments below and let me know what you didn't like about the video, I would really greatly appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. I would love to have you join the family. And don't forget to hit that bell. That bell is going to indicate when I've uploaded my current video. So, if this is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If this is afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. If this is evening for you, have a very relaxing evening. Again, my name is Janae. And thank you so much for spending some time with me tonight on the review.